Hi, my name is Dan Greck from The Road Chose Me, and today I'm doing a tyre rotation on my Jeep. And so another 6,000 miles has gone by, and it's time to do another rotation. I do this for a whole bunch of reasons. Number one is because I want my tyres to last as long as possible. I'm running the BF Goodridge All-Terrain KO2 tyres, and I've put about 30,000 miles on them so far. They're wearing really well, I'm extremely happy with them, and part of the reason for that is because I do frequent rotations. And I do a five tyre rotation to really increase that tread life. So while I'm doing a rotation, it's a great chance to have a look around under the Jeep. I can look at the suspension, I can look at the brakes, and while I'm in there too, I'm greasing the U-joints and I'm greasing my ball joints that uh, require grease. And so it's a good chance to do all of those things. And actually today, I've even noticed one of my tires has a nail in it. So it's only the second time on the trip, and so this is a great opportunity to get in there and repair that as well. And I do a rotation every 6,000 miles. So they came up in Mali, in Nigeria, in Angola, and now here I am in Botswana doing this round of rotation. And actually just yesterday, I did an oil change on the Jeep as well. And so another good chance to have a look around and make sure everything's okay. There are a lot of great tire shops around, especially here in Southern Africa. So it would be easy to go and pay to have the work done, but I really do prefer to do it myself. This way I save money, first of all, but also by doing it myself, I can be certain that everything has been checked and that everything is done properly. And then I feel more comfortable when I'm out relying on this vehicle to make sure that it doesn't break down. And uh, I've just noticed here, this is one I've taken off. For the second time on the trip here, I've got a nail in the tread. And uh, I had noticed this tire has a slow leak right now. And uh, so now that I've got it off, it's a good time. I'm gonna dig this nail out right now and I'll plug this hole with my um, ARB plug kit and then it'll be good to go again. And, uh... All right, so before I can repair this tire, the first thing I need to do is let the air out and then I'm gonna dig this nail out any way that I can. So I've got some pliers, some screwdrivers and some vice grips and I'll just do whatever it takes to get it out of there. And uh, first thing, I'm gonna try a pair of pliers and see how I go. I honestly don't know how this is gonna work. Let me just see what happens. And so it came out really easily. It turned out to be a broken off screw. All right, so I've got an ARB plug kit here that I'm gonna plug the hole with. And uh, that involves the reamer here. So I use this for a while to try and make the hole a bit bigger. And then, uh, and then they've got this special tool that's used to put in one of these plugs. And I have a whole bunch of these plugs, anticipating a lot of flat tires. And so five minutes here and I should have this hole plugged. Be good to go again. Here you can see I've got the plug installed on the special tool and now I'm going to push it into the hole. The trick here is to push it in until it's about two thirds of the way in, not all the way through, but you do want to leave some hanging out. The trick is to push hard, but not too hard and just let it slowly slide in. When you're finished, you can just pull the tool out and the plug will stay where it is. From the outside, it looks like this. There's no need to cut the ends off, they'll wear away when you start driving. Now the plug is in, I can put all the tyres back on and then air this one up after it's sat for about 10 or 15 minutes. And that's it, tyre rotation done. And so I'm doing this work in a campground here in Botswana and there's a swimming pool about 20 yards away, I can see it from where I'm standing. So I'm pretty excited to jump in the pool because it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and 100 degrees already.